what up world it's eternal authenticity broadcasting live i'm out here with the homie fred you know y'all already know hold on we got y'all with the homie fred out for a walk you know hold on let me put on my gloves it's a little chilly again all right got my glove on cool it's kind of sprinkling outside a little bit it's like misty, a misty kind of day. I'm like a weather man, to be honest. I bring y'all out, you know, like, that's why this page will be epic in the long run. Because, like, you know, it caters to anyone. You know what I mean? Anyone who's in their heart space, this page will connect with you, you know. Y'all ever notice all the great comments I receive on this page? You know, it's all loving loving energy you know what i mean so like gratitude and that stuff like is what i'm here to receive and give you know and like honestly gratitude is the best thing to do because if you're just watching and watching and watching and you're not like participating or you know you're not really just engaging with who you're watching it's like, why are you watching? You know what I mean? Like, I posted out on my Instagram. You know, I'm only here to, you know, have people support. And I'm only here to be celebrated and supported, you know, not watched. You know, I typed that as one of my statuses. Because it's true, you know? Like, I remember my mom would always say, my mom would always say, you know, Sky, there's, you know, people aren't going to be as expressive as you are and it's true like i get what she, i've always understood that because many times i'll be super hyper you know just really raising the frequency even at a young age <laughs> you know and like sometimes i'll take it personal when people you know they're more quiet you know what i'm saying more to themselves they're not as animated or whatever so i just let them be but about this brand about this page it's all about the support and the love, you know, look at the comments. It's all love, you know, and like those are mainly people I don't even know. You know what I mean? So like that just goes to show sometimes you do have to step out of like comfort zones or whatever or get away from, you know, old baggage. You know what I mean? Just because y'all went to school together or y'all grew up together or whatever, spent some time, you know, honestly, it doesn't mean that y'all are really friends that's something i understood and learned because like quite honestly i have to like think real hard about who's my friend you know like i'm my friend and i have you know a quality select few of you know real good energy you know what i mean that's just the truth of it because it's like <sighs> you go f so far into your journey voyage of awakening or whatever and like you realize, hey, some people are just going the complete opposite direction that I'm going, you know? So, like, why would I want to hold on to that dead weight? You know, it's not anything personal. It's just, you know, the right ones are supposed to connect. And that goes hand in hand also with what I was thinking about earlier, about how the love is going to come. Because, yeah, I have a lot of love connections. It's just, you know, I haven't been able to travel and visit them, you know? Many times they do be like, wow you know we have i have the desire to have like a magic wish wand or whatever to just travel wherever whenever you know what i mean to see whoever you know and like that's something i'm working on myself for and honestly like today i'm uh overcoming some sniffles you know what i mean like it was snowing a little bit like some snow flurries a couple of days ago and then like the weather was real funky so maybe that influenced some of this. I just been having herbal teas. Like I steeped a bunch of herbal teas, tea bags, green tea, matcha tea, black tea, you know, different ones and like stems from like herbs. And like I was drinking that. And also I was, I even poured some inside the, the bathtub, you know, with the Epsom salt bath, matcha green tea, you know. That helped out a little. Obviously, I've been blowing my nose. Obviously, I'm a vegan, so, you know, I'm already eliminating mucus at an extraordinary rate, you know. But I'm just 
I'm staying strong, you know what I'm saying? Like, for real. Real talk. It's like those people in those islands, like in North Sentinel, like that far away, most isolated island. You know, it's like a tropical island with just a small amount of indigenous peoples there. And like, you know, they don't come over here. They don't come over to the U.S. or to the West because they'll get sick, honestly. So, you know, like, that's pretty much that. I understood that. But still, if you just keep a, you know, load up on your immune system and just take a day, take some time to rest, that helps out a lot, too. And, like, to be real, also, like, I was touching up about this with one of my friends, like, you know, about our ego and lower energy, higher energy, whatever. Like, it's cool to see how that works. You know, like, our lower nature... You know, obviously, that's reproductive, lust, whatever you want to call it, genitals. And also, at the same time, like, that can also be deemed as, like, aggression, you know, lower vibrational emotions and energy. Aggression, you know, anger, worry, fear, stuff like that. You know, fight or flight, ego stuff. And it's funny how I'm able to see that and understand that better because, like, you know intuitively my twin flame you know my mentor who has helped guide me along this way i feel like i'm in alignment and i'm speaking the truth on this whole thing you know like my my twin flame i haven't even seen them in real life in like over six or seven months you know what i'm saying i have to drive them like eight hours for them you know only to see her for like a few minutes and then you know we ain't had we didn't have anything really good to say through communication, through email, message, and all that stuff. There's been a lot of games and switch-ups, you know. So I've been through a whole lot. But, like, intuitively, I'm going to go ahead and say that's my twin flame because, you know, my mentor even is helped guiding us that are in alignment, you know, and helping us to realize that, you know, saying that they're probably in another country. And it's true because that goes hand-in-hand with my personal story of my unique twin flame. Plus, this is true. I never went through that type of stuff with anybody else. At the same time, I made it through all right because I knew it was love. Even though it was absurd, bizarre scenarios, you know, I've been through a whole lot, you know. At the same time, I still kept a light heart. I keep a light heart, you know, and I was just laughing through it. Even though it might have been real wild and so-called crazy, you know. I knew it was like universal tests or something like that. But anyways, like I was saying about the lower nature, higher nature, you know, when you're intimately involved with your partner, you know, your spouse, whatever, obviously that's a sensitive point. I guess that's why like Rocky Balboa or whatever, like Mickey, hey, <laughs> hold on. I guess he doesn't want to say, all right, have a good day. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> um, Rocky Balboa was saying like women make your knees weak. You know, and I get what he's saying, kind of like, he's not talking down on women. He's just saying, like, you know, that's why a lot of us, you know, we're raising our frequency, our energy. You know what I mean? Like, like they said, Muhammad Ali and some of these other athletes, you know, they wasn't having sex with their spouse, you know, to to cultivate that energy. You know what I mean? So, like, the point I'm making is, is like, okay, well, my twin flame, you know, lion, you know what I'm saying? eating a whole bunch of processed meats, you know, and dairy and just junk food, alcohol, all this stuff, you know, just putting me into shock, you know, at the same time still, I I was in love with her, just energy, everything was just beautiful, even though she was on some BS, you know, like, (coughs) I noticed, because like, you know, it even says in the Bible, I'm not even religious, but it says a man will move out from his mom and dad his mother and father and he will be united with his wife and i'm not even religious i'm just saying yo there's no accidents or coincidences because that happened to me you know the first time i moved out from my parents house you know i just lived alone for like a whole year and you know i I just lived alone you know but then the next time i moved to another apartment the one i'm at now for over a year guess what you know i ended up living I ended up, you know, meeting her, you know what I'm saying? You know, way back when. And, like, you know, 
it just made sense about stuff and like it says the man and woman will become one flesh you know and that's deep it's true because like you feel it you know what i mean it's some unexplainable feeling because none of the other women you know i had intimacy with you know after our little departure none of that stuff was the same i'm not trying to compare i'm just saying like you know I truly stand for, hey, we all do have one divine twin flame reflection. That's what I have been, you know, planning for, hoping for, you know, and it's true because it's the most simple. You know what I mean? It's a deep love connection for real. Like, trust me, it is <laughs> like it's unexplainable, you know, but if you feel at home, you know, what I'm saying even in the most bizarre wild scenarios like you know that you're gonna be all right because it's like love and you're protected like love is the most powerful force there is you know it's unconditional you know it's forgiving you know it doesn't hold the past it doesn't um what you call it it doesn't judge it doesn't hold the past you know it's deep you know what i'm saying very deep and i guess that's why nature is so awesome but the point I was making is, is like, you know, obviously, whenever you're intimately involved with your twin flame or whatever, specifically twin flame, I'll say, because there's no other comparison to that. That's the highest, you know, um, obviously they got your heart in their hands and vice versa. You know, what I mean, like y'all are deeply connected. So, like, obviously, if y'all are doing stuff to piss each other off you know, you can get real animated <laughs> and expressive and see yourself, you know, get really wild, you know, expressive, you know what I'm saying? Full range of emotions, extreme anger, you know, et cetera, et cetera. You know, and like I noticed that through the contrast because I was already vegan and they were just, you know, they didn't care about me being vegan. You know, a lot of times we would make vegan meals together, but then I noticed there would always be some tension whenever she you know disregarded the whole vegan stuff and she wanted to eat all this meat and stuff and that actually does generate type of you know lower vibrational aggressive you know stagnant behavior or whatever but it's you learn how to deal with it i guess you know to be honest you learn hey i'm worthy to have a vegan you know what i'm saying so that's something I started to understand. I don't know how everything's going to pan out or work out. You know, it's just, she knows who she is. She knows, you know, I have a lot of appreciation, you know, despite the good, bad, and ugly. And I guess the point I'm making is, is like, you know, when um the lower nature stuff. So, like, your twin flame, you're never going to, that's like the ultimate key holder. You know what I'm saying? You're never going to let anyone else get to you like your twin flame you know what i'm saying like and that's why it's a blessing in disguise because twin flames like we sharpen each other for the world you know what i mean to handle the world you know like that's basically what they did you know they were training me to how to deal with the world like with me being a new vegan of almost three years it's like she was teaching me how to handle being around other people who aren't who aren't vegan you know what i mean or whatever you never know i'm i'm here to live a long life so like i'm bound to come across come across people who aren't vegan you know and like the point i'm making is it's like you know your twin flame has the ultimate key to you and you'll see how powerful and everything about you you know unleashed your twin flame like sets you free honestly set me free you know and uh the point i'm making is, is like then you're like able to walk around fearlessly because like you realize wow that's some sacred strong power energy you know that i only exerted for for them you know what i'm saying my twin flame like i'm not gonna get mad with nobody else you know what i'm saying i'm looking not to be mad with them you know but it's like there's certain deep connections where you're like hey I'm, there's no way I'm going to let anybody get under my skin or push my buttons, especially if I don't even know them like that, et cetera, et cetera. You know, so like it gets you to realize, hey, the ego, lower nature, that stuff truly is for survival. It's fight or flight, you know, like worst case scenario type stuff, you know, like for real, it's some deep stuff. 
yeah, maybe if you do a boxing match or a UFC match or something like that, you know, you might have some, you know, tenacity there using your ego, you know, getting strong or whatever. But at the same time, like, it's so different, you know, like your twin flame is like your ultimate boxing partner, like not boxing partner, but like tag team. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes, you know, y'all are both unleashed. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not encouraging. I'm not encouraging anybody to get in no drama or any of that stuff. The point I'm making is, is like y'all are like an ultimate tag team. Like it's, you know, it's some deep stuff. You know what I mean? Like it's beyond man-made laws and beyond man-made, you know, judgments and criticisms and analyzation and all that stuff. Like it's, that's why I love coming out into nature. You know why? Cause like when you're out here, you really feel it out. You know what I'm speaking of love, whatever you want to call it. And like the point I'm making is like, you know, your twin flame is like your ultimate, ultimate tag team partner. You can meet a whole lot of other people or whatever, but they're nowhere going to be near your twin flame at all. And like the point I'm making is, is like they show you how truly strong and powerful you are and you can be. And they also help protect you for, you know, from like the outside world or whatever, you know, and like it's just deep. Because it's like, you just see how powerful and amazing, amazingly strong you are. And then, like, when you're in real life, around random people, you know, you're grateful. <coughs> Excuse me, you're humbled. You're grateful because you're like, wow, guess what? I don't have to, um, you know, disperse my energy like that. You know, I don't have to be in my ego. I don't have to be fight or flight. You know, none of that stuff. I'm not here to, I'm not here to be fighting for nothing, you know. And I guess that's something that it helps us to realize because it's like, hey, I realize that I don't have to fight for anybody's love. You know what I mean? For real. Real talk. That's why I keep saying, hey, I'm going to be the last man standing. You know, when I'm 90 years old, 100 years old, whatever, I'm still going to be around walking healthy, able to share the story, share the truth, you know of what's going on, you know, of my legacy of a lot of other stuff too. So anyway, this is some deep stuff, but just touching base with y'all. Also on another note, you know, <laughs> they say you stop caring for you, uh, you know, about trying to find this or that about love and stuff. And it's kind of true. Like I do care. And at the same time, I don't like I do. Of course, I'm going to be grateful when some love pops up in my real life, you know, I have loving connections, you know, a lot of them are just located around different parts of the world, you know, and I just am asking the universe for assistance so I can travel, you know, all expense paid type stuff, you know, cause I've been doing the work for it, honestly. But the point I'm making is, is like, you know, like as far as that real love, you know, my twin flame coming or, Whatever, soulmate, whatever the universe of love has for me in real life, I had to stop caring and let go. Because there's some people out there, you know, you'll give and they just take. You know what I mean? I've had that happen where I got screwed over or whatever. Giving and giving and giving and get nothing back. You know, people switch up. People just turn phony and fake. And it's like, wow. That's, why, that's where the twin flame comes into play. Because the twin flame helps you to know how far in ignorance you have been in and what areas that you don't have to go to, you know, as far as ignorance and waste dispersing your angry energy, you know, your twin flame like tames you for the world, you know, around people who don't really care as care about you as much. You learn, hey, I don't need to get angry about these random people or these here today, gone tomorrow type people. You know what I mean? That's what the twin flame does. It like calms you down you know what i'm saying it tames you so that's what i was saying because you may come across like i have other people you help them out and guess what you know they're just gone you know what i'm saying they don't stick to their word you know they're ungrateful they just take you know they don't want to give nothing they don't show no appreciation none of that stuff it's a lot of ungrateful people in this world for real so that's why i just focus on people that are grateful, you know, and like 
it's liberating too because it's like why would i want to keep trying to beg or force my sh- foot in the shoe with someone who's just addicted to not getting it right addicted to hiding addicted on this private profile stuff you know addicted to just you know being whack you know what i'm saying so like i just learned hey i'm gonna just choose people that's choosing me you know then we're on the same page cool you know good harmony good vibes lively energy so that's what i've been doing honestly and like you know about the whole real life love stuff i'm like hey whatever whatever comes let it come you know whatever stays let it stay whatever goes let it go so like now i'm just alone working on my vision and stuff open to receive all the love possible to be honest i stopped stressing out about it because i'm like hey i'm here to live a long life and i'm barely healing myself and stuff like that so guess what sooner or later these people are going to see me sooner or later these people are going to be chasing me you know the women are going to be the love is going to be chasing me the checks the money is going to be chasing me all that stuff you know what i mean because i've been doing the work so anyways just had to share that with y'all twin flame love you know twin flame sets us free you know stop being worried about how it will come all that stuff you know what i mean so i'm just keeping on pushing forward i learned it's no instant gratification it's just long-term stuff but at the same time you know i'm glad because slow and steady wins the race and i have my freedom eternally you know what i mean because I've made so many sacrifices, you know, that's why whenever I did have little, you know, times where I had to take a time out, you know what I mean? It wasn't even that bad because like, you know, my heart has been in the right space. And like I said, I'm living a karma free life. So, you know, I'm grateful to, to be the turtle, you know, not to be rushing or racing around. And that's probably how, you know, I'm still able to do this stuff for the long run. You know what I mean? Because I stuck to what is legit. You know what I mean? In my middle ground, my uh, independent lane. You know what I mean? I'm not on the left. I'm not on the right. I'm like the middle. You know what I'm saying? Like, (laughs) so anyways, y'all have an amazing day. I'm really hungry. Haven't even had breakfast yet. Shout out to Infinite Waters and the Deep Divers. <laughs> Super hungry. You know, this healing journey is very fun because, you know, it's cool, like, to see ourselves level up in the health world. You know, implementing new remedies and whatnot. And, like, you know, just feeling renewed and refreshed every day is exciting because there's probably people who we might have known way back in the day. That guess what? There's no connection with them anymore. Now, who knows? Some of these same people might have been seeing us in real life, but we might not have had no idea because I surely haven't come across none of them. You know, you know, way back in the day in school when everybody would bump into each other and be like, hey, you know, at the store or something like that, you would see each other from the school. You'd be like, hey, that's so and so, you know out here shopping, getting groceries, you know, that hasn't happened for a long time for me, so it makes me wonder about a lot, and you see, you know, that some people that you might have even gone to school with, like, they're not really your friends, you know what I'm saying, it's nothing personal, it's just, you know, the truth is a big, a big thing to swallow, you know, but it's just cool when you're connecting with new energy that really resonates and vibes with you and you know they're on a progressive path just like you so anyways it's eternal authenticity broadcasting live y'all have an amazing day